Hi there folks, it's Stuart, and today I'm going to be telling you about this new AV grabber that we have now available at Solid Signal. It's taken us a long time to find a part that really does this for us. It has been a very popular request to try to help people get things off of old VHS tapes and put them on the computer. After all, you have a lot of companies that will do this for you and it's super expensive. Instead, you can do it yourself and have all the hardware to maybe even start your own home business. This device is kind of cool. It looks like a big flash drive, has this kind of cap that take, comes off and plugs into the USB port on the other side. You have all the connections you need for standard definition. And it's great, but there's one thing I gotta say I'm not 100% on. It comes with a full version of software called ArcSoft Showbiz. Showbiz is okay. It's fine and it's it's you know comes with a device and so it's not going to be something where you have an extra cost. Fine with that. But it's not the most modern thing in the world. Showbiz really hasn't been updated since the days of Windows Vista. The other problem is that it comes on CD. Not everybody has a CD-ROM anymore in their computer and so you might be wondering how do you get that software to work? I'm going to show you another alternative that's also free and that you just might like better. I know that I do. This is OBS Studio, or Open Broadcaster Software. You can get this software by going to obsproject.com. It's completely free, and I trust it. Both Mac and Windows are supported. Just click on your operating system to download what you need. Installation is easy. If you've ever installed anything on your computer, it's extremely simple. A lot of people use OBS for a lot of different things. And it's really incredibly flexible and very powerful for something that's incredibly zero dollars. We're going to be using it for video capture. Before we start though, there are a couple of settings you might want to check on your computer. The first one is really only for people with dual graphics cards. There are a lot of laptops out there that have both the Intel graphics and something like Nvidia graphics. If this doesn't apply to you, just wait and watch. There will be another segment for you in just a minute. For those who do though, go to your graphics settings, press the start menu and just type graphics settings. You'll need to add the OBS Studio app to make sure it uses Intel graphics. Click the Browse button and then find the OBS app. Most of the time it's in Program Files, OBS Studio, Bin, 64-bit, and it's called OBS64.exe. When you find it, click Add. Make sure you've selected Power Saving or anything else that applies to the Intel GPU and not the other GPU. When you're done, click Save. And now you can open up OBS and we're going to change a few things in there to make it easier for you later. This is what OBS looks like when you launch it. Start by pressing Settings. Go to the tab that says Video and we're going to change those top two sets of numbers to 720 by 480. This is the resolution of a standard definition signal so it's going to capture the right stuff. We're then going to go to the Output tab and change the recording format to MP4. That's a format that Windows can actually read instead of the MKV format which would require something else for you to download. There's one more bit of setup to do and I promise this is the last of it. After this you'll be ready to go. Before you go any further, connect the AV grabber to your computer's USB port, plug something into it and start it playing. It's going to make it easier for you to have live video playing to make sure you know that you're getting what you want. You'll see the sources menu toward the bottom of the screen and you'll need to press the plus button to add a source. Choose video capture device as your source. Most likely it's going to think your webcam is the video capture device. We just need to change that so it says AV to USB 2.0. When you do that, you should see whatever it is you hooked up to the AV grabber. In this case, I hooked up an old video game and you can see that it's showing the Pac-Man screen. Press OK when you're done. Now you're ready to actually do the capturing. Press the button that says Start Recording and make sure that you're playing back whatever it is you want to record. When you're done, press the same button that says Stop Recording. Super easy. This is actual live video that I recorded using this system. And it works really well. A lot, lot better than just pointing your phone at the television and recording it. Once you have this all set up, once you've done all that stuff to get to this point, all those settings are going to stick, so you're not going to have to do them again. 
All you need to do is connect something, launch OBS Studio, and start recording. That's the magic of it. Using this AV Grabber is a whole heck of a lot of fun. And now you know how to do it.